Hi there. Hello. Hi everybody, welcome to Big Oggy World and partly Big Oggy Golf. We are now on our first hotel adventure. We are. Very exciting it is too. We are at Trethorne Golf Club and Hotel, but also Trethorne Leisure. Yes. Trethorne Leisure Complex. They have invited us here. If you know the Big Oggy Golf Channel, I hope you do. I have played Trethorne on a few occasions. One of our buccaneers is a member here as a golfer. Yeah. And uh, the management here has asked us to come and film Trethorne and all its facilities because although I play golf, you I don't. don't. And uh, on Big Oggy World, we've always wanted to do this. The whole point of Big Oggy World is it does tell us with Big Oggy Golf so that obviously the golf stuff probably goes on there. The holiday stuff, the accommodation, the food, all the kind of anything else to do with golf locations that is actually really good for everybody else. Yeah. Is what we do on Big Oi World. That's what we're planning. So before we crack on with the actual whole video, mm -hmm. and I think it's going to be a big one because there's an awful lot of stuff here. There is a lot of stuff. Um, we're going to pop over to see the manager here, Chris Brewer. So here we are at Trethorne Golf and Leisure. We are in a conference room with Chris Brewer. So Chris is going to tell us a bit about what Trethorne is because I think it's a little bit unusual. Okay, so at Trethorne we have a 30 bedroom hotel. We have a array of different standards in our rooms. So we start off with our standard room, which we do a double and a twin. We go on to our superior family rooms, our standard family room, superior triple room, superior double and twin rooms. We can cater for up to 70 people on site. With all rooms that we sell, they all come with bed and breakfast. Uh, the restaurant is through the double doors. And outside we have a beer garden for over 100 people with a little play park for the kids. We are dog friendly and kids are more than welcome in our bar and restaurant. We also have an 18 hole golf course, which holds county events. We have quite a good membership section um, and we're very progressive and very modern in our approach to the future. Beside us, we have a kids' play park, Trethorn Leisure Park. It has one of the largest soft plays in the southwest, um, one of the big undercover activity centres. We also have a bit of outdoor play park, and we also have animals. So we've got pigs, goats, donkeys. We also have horses and little rabbits and guinea pigs, which Kelly found today, Flash. <laughs> which is um, one of our breeding rabbits for 2023. Inside the main building at the Leisure Park, we have eight bowling aims and an indoor dodgem area with arcades. We're open every day other than Christmas Day when we all give it to the family time for our staff. Hope you enjoy Big Oggy's video of Trethorne and I hope you all come and see us. So that was the business side of it. That's the business description. Yep. We're going to show you a personal side of it. We are. We're going to go and we're going to look in all the little nooks and crannies. Nooks and crannies. We're and going to have some fun on the games. We're Absolutely. Going to, well, I'm going to try a little bit of the golf a bit later. Yep. We're going to try the food. We're going to look at the accommodation. We're going to stay. We are going to stay. And we're going to give you a complete big oggy personal view. 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 That's the one. Well, enjoy your stay with us. We will. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank you very much. No worries. Thanks for coming up. No problem. So before we carry on, like I said, we been invited here today. Uh, it will be an honest opinion, but we have to kind of say that we have been invited. Yes, we do. Well, just Full for disclosure. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Great. See you all in a minute. We'll see you out there. I do like a ginger pig. You like a ginger pig? Yeah. It's quite cute. Look at the shine on his fur. They or, are, they are. It's cute. not fur, is it? It's hair. Hair. Yeah. Pigs don't have fur. No, pigs are hairy. Who knew? Who knew what? That pigs never squeal in joy. It's know. always a distress call, apparently. I know they're, they're very intelligent. I know they might be hungry, dogs. though. It says it might be hungry. They might be squealing if they're well, hungry as well. I'm a bit like that myself, so. Good boy, come on. Now that's a bit personal. 
He's a good boy. He's a good boy. What are you doing? He's a good boy. Yeah? Yes, Kelly's talking to a piggy. You're a good boy. Who mm. seems to no, rather like reach you. Um, being strict. Hang on then. No, I can't reach you now, mate. <laughs> can't reach. Go on then, I'll do it. Here, babes. That's Winston. Winston. Hello, Winston. I think he rather likes it. I think he likes being scratched by his ears. Yeah, I think so too. Can we take him home? No, we don't have enough room for a piggy. Oh, we, we do. We do a rabbit. I still think we want the piggy. Didn't it say the piggies are for sale? It said everything's for sale. But uh, apart from Winston, probably. Probably. Yeah. Oh, well. Maybe it'll be a rabbit. We shall see. It's okay. There's one in here that looks like a wig. It looks like somebody's bad wig. One looks like a wig. It's got a bad air day. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like a toupee on legs. Yeah. And there were five born in the litter, and they all look like their daddy. So this is a baby. Baby Flash. Baby Flash. Bye. Now, rabbit fingers lick by rabbit before. Being nibbled by rabbit, mate. Not nibbled, it's lick it. It says there that them chicks are for sale. They're five pound each. How many can we get in the car? We could probably get them all. If you want. But the trouble is, they won't fit in the garden. Because um, I think our garden is much bigger than that little square there. I just need a space for a donkey. You got a donkey for that? Mm, not sure, but I don't think you get it for a fiver. Okay. Maybe, maybe we'll do the chicks. Ooh. Maybe we'll have that sprightly one there. Oh my oh, goodness. Yeah. No, maybe no, we'll no, have that, that one. Way too spirited. Look at the size of that one. It's that orange feet. It's got orange feet and a blue bill. They call it apple yards, I believe. I'm no expert. They are big. I'd like to say I'm an expert, but I'm pretty sure it was on the sign. Oh, yeah. I do like to impress you with my knowledge, but basically I just read a lot of things on Google. Don't know. Or the sites. Or the sites, yeah. Ponies. It's only ponies. Hello, my lovers. I'm just going to ignore you and keep eating. The one thing that this place is doing really, really well is the educational stuff. Like I've been to city farms and there's a, a lot of animals around but there's not always a lot of information but they've been really really good at explaining quite a lot of quite in-depth stuff like you know fillers, colts, mares, stallions, whatever. It's really good. Yeah we're seeing a lot of families here today of all ages. A lot of families. And they're certainly learning things as well as actually being able to approach and as we've said with the petting, actually be able to touch them, yeah. hold them, absolutely, understand animals better. Yeah. I think the thing is, is that a lot of young kids find animals really exciting as well. So you have to sort of temper the excitement with animal welfare. And yeah. again, it's something they that they seem job. to be doing really, really well there. Really well. He's having his breakfast. Right, you mate. Give him your breakfast. There's something about the smell of horses. Well, you used to have horses, oh, yeah. didn't you? I just, the smell just makes me go back, go back 20, 30, 30 odd years, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is one hell of a pair of horns. Lovely, aren't they? Do love a goat. 
Beautiful. Animals are in fantastic condition as well. Yeah, absolutely. What's that, love? I found your donkey. You found me a donkey? I love donkeys. But I think he's got a llama or a alpaca or something with it as well. Well, they like to they have friends. Look at their little pony. I was offered a Shetland pony once. Yeah? Yeah, he used to keep escaping into my garden and eating all my roses. Well, if you kept going in there, I guess you may as well keep the thing. Might as well keep it, that's what I thought, yeah. We're getting great river... Uh, reverse views of the animals today, I've noticed. They're not being very keen on cameras today, are they? Those donkeys, aren't they called Jerusalem donkeys? Yeah, they've because got... The, they've got the black cross, the cross on, on them. their back. Yeah. Let's go down to the next one and see them. I hope they're called that, because you're going to go and look at a sign now and probably tell you. Well, there's no sign there. No sign? We're just going to accept that's what they are. There's a baby donkey. Like a real baby, baby dog. A real baby, baby. Look at him. He's tired. Maybe he's just small and asleep. He's a baby. He hasn't grown into his ears yet. Beautiful. Wonder if that is mum and dad. I'm no expert, but what I can tell you is that's not his mum or his dad. No. Over there. No. I think that's. A, do you think that's a llama? Llamas smaller than alpacas. Yes, I think they are. Just think it's got a different neck. I don't know. I'm, I'm no expert on um, South American. Yeah, somebody else said it. Creatures. Llama. We'll go for Llama then. Okay, I know you're small in stature, love. What do you find? Peepholes. Peepholes? For little people to for look. For little people to look in. But even that, you can't tell me that that is not attention to detail and thinking about your audience. Absolutely, your audience is not going to be just, or no. are not going to be just grown-ups. And if you're that big, and you're a that parent, big, that big, about that big, that big, yeah. Like having to hoik your kids up to see in is yeah. not comfortable for Plus the kids. Plus it's also a bit dangerous, I guess, trying to lift yeah. someone, you know, coming up. Very good. Attention to detail, fab. Important to wash your hands after touching any of the animals, even if you're not eating. So, we've had the lovely, peaceful bit and the calming bit with all the animals. Indoor play area. Indoor play area. So, I think there's a cafe in there, so should we get a cup of tea? Can do, we can do that. And then we can have a look what else is around in here. Okay. Tractors. We are on a farm. I, I promise you, love, they're not real bricks. They look real. They look real, but this is the children's play area, my love, and they're them. Um, I thought they'd give them a bunch of bricks to no, play no, with. No, no, no. <laughs> Health and safety, you know. I do love a sand pit. Look, it's a pirate ship. You're gonna have a desert island. You're gonna have sand. But it's got buckets and all sorts. Look, it's a really good one. It's so you can practice making the sand castle before you go on the beach. That's what it's for. I'm, I'm not going up there. No, but I'd love a pirate ship in my house. Actually, I just love to live in a pirate ship. Actually, this. It's just like those places that we used to take the kids when they were little. Yeah. You know, the big massive soft plays and, you know, the slides Slime and all the rest frame, of it. Slides, yeah. soft play. Ball pits. And this is inside where the pirate ship would be. Yeah. And from what I can see, it goes all the way through to the cafe. Okay. So, like we used to, used to sit at the cafe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so yeah, that was fun. So we can watch the kids, yeah. but have a cup of tea while you're there, so. We're going to take a look. They're pretty much thinking of everything here. The ball pit is four foot deep. If I went in, I'd never get out. It'd just be up to your neck. I'd need rescuing. You would, yeah. You'd have to get the fire brigade out. 
and uh, you'd have to go with those instead, look. Oh my goodness me. This place has everything, it really does have everything. Rumor, my size. Rumour has it, they have dodgems. Really? I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Do you want to go with the gladiator? Like I will say that this place is absolutely immense. Huge. It's huge. All of that through there is absolutely massive. They've got one of them wiggly slides, you know, okay. the ones that you remember we used to have like health skeleton. Like a health skeleton slide, yeah. They've got a death slide. Okay. They've got walkways, swings, Road ropes, walks. you name it, they've got it in there. And then there's that side there, which is the place that we've been with the, the pirate sand ship and the sand pit ship. and all that sort of stuff. I, as I remember, the um, entrance fee wasn't that bad. No, we'll, we will put details on, but as this could be seen throughout the years, yeah, um, obviously change. look on the website for different prices, but it looked really good. But... Now we've seen it. If you were either holidaying here, or if you're in Cornwall holiday in and you've got a dodgy day yeah. and you want indoor stuff to do so kids, much of it is indoors a lot it of it is outdoors but there's enormous here. indoors as yeah. well as we've seen I, I absolutely could not fault this place at all so we, we lived in Bristol we've seen yeah. city farms we've seen play indoor area indoor play areas, areas soft play nothing like that. this no. nothing like it this it's absolutely huge and really important it's clean yeah because so many of these places can be really quite grubby and this isn't it isn't and it's but that's the whole thing yeah. it's and they've so got big. health and safety they've got supervisors everywhere yeah. on all especially on all the uh, different kind of real play yeah. things like yeah. the, well, the one where the lovely couple hit each other over with pillows yeah. but there are people there looking after them on the trampolines on all the yeah and there's somebody there doing the um the walk, the walk, the walk. climb thing yeah. so um Amazing. I'm absolutely flabbergasted because people know I've filmed the golf course here yeah. and I've always known it as, as a golf club um, with other facilities but this is the leisure park area and I never yeah. knew this was like this. How would you know? I mean this is just like a hidden gem but it's, it's not going to be a hidden It's anymore. definitely a hidden gem yeah. but it's certainly, I would, I mean you could spend the whole day here yeah. without a problem. And like we said, we're just having a coffee now because this has got a little coffee area here. Uh, but there's also another bar and a restaurant. We're going to look at that for lunch. And, and then we've got the main restaurant up at the, the golf club and the main part of the hotel. So in the main building where we'll go next, that's where the main cafe for this area is. But in that building, that's where they've got the Dodgems. Well, we haven't even, yeah, we haven't even scooped yeah. on the Dodgems and the 10 pin bowling yet. 10 pin bowling yeah. and oh, the arcade, all the yeah, arcade type arcades. Games. So I guess that area might be for slightly older maybe children. Slightly older people. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. It's fab. It's amazing. Amazing value for money. I, yeah. I know you've probably got to pay a little bit for the dodgems. I know you've got a book for the 10 pin bowling, but if you just got a family, just a number of young kids, etc. Yeah. once you've paid them for this lot, sorry, you can yeah. take a beer all day. Fantastic. I cannot fault it at all. So we will drink this and we're going to see the next section, the dodgems and the yeah, and the we'll get some section. lunch. Get well. some lunch. Mm. Another little cafe? Bigger cafe this time. Spot of lunch, yeah? Spot of lunch. Spot of lunch. So much more to see. Okay. I think I'm going to just go for a panini. Some, something nice, light, but fill in. Yeah. Um, we're having dinner later. Yeah, so. we'll have dinner later.
Are you ready for Belgium's? Are you ready for bowling? Ten pins. Or shall we go a little bit more sedate and go crazy golf? Not quite that tight. Close enough in, close enough for a two, isn't it? It might be a two. Do I get a gimme? Yay! Two or two. <laughs> Where are we, love? We are now outside, and it's got a fantastic outside area too. Have you seen that slide over there with the rings? Like, like the tire thing that you have to sit on and slide down. That's good. My golf shoes, have I got to go from the States? Yeah, but they're and they're foot joys. Okay, go on then. I'll believe it when I say it. Uh, yeah, they are um wow. They've been well worn. They are well worn by someone very big. Absolutely. Someone I will be arguing with, that's for sure. He needs new laces, bless him. Yeah. <laughs> the bar is busy. Golf course has been very busy today. Hopefully I'll get on it tomorrow. Light camera action. Right Good there, Donna. afternoon. Where are we? We are in our room at Truthorn Hotel and Leisure. And before you all say, yes, we do have a camera. It is currently pointing towards the bed, but it's not going to stay there for the whole evening. <laughs> we have been busy filming the whole place for you so that you can see what fantastic facilities that they have here. We've had a fabulous day so We've far. We've had a brilliant day. So this is our room. There are three types of room, but you'll hear more about that from Chris, the general manager. He'll tell you all about the different types of room. So we are in the lodges because it's sort of like a big long bungalow. And they're sort of in pods. So there's like each little arm has got three rooms in. So we're in room 23. As you can see, it is a triple room. So it would be ideal for families. Um, most of the beds, I believe, are these zip and lock beds so that you can either have them as a double or you can separate them singly. Um, all of the decor in most of the rooms, well, in, in the main hotel and in the lodges, they're all sort of similarly colour coded. So there's nice dusky pinks and greys. Yeah, and the greys have a kind of a pink in them. Yeah. As an artist, I would say it's a pink version of grey. Yeah. Um, the bed linen is high quality cotton. Yeah, beautifully presented, yeah, I would say. Absolutely yeah. beautifully presented. Um, carpets are lovely. Um, this room has a 
bathroom with yeah. a shower and a sink. Yeah, some have baths, we've got one with a shower in. Yeah. But we have a separate... But there's a separate toilet. Toilet and then a shower and area. Then we have a walk-in wardrobe as we well. Do. So a very nice TV. Huge it's TV. Certainly not a small TV for a hotel. No. A fan. Very useful right now. Yeah. Some of the other um, hotel rooms in the, um, like the cottages. cottages, they've got air con. Yeah. Um, but they are... And they're a different colour. They're, they are called the standard rooms, although they are big. Yeah. Um, and their colour coordination is grey and like a dusky, yellowy type colour, yeah. which is very pretty. So, um, again, really big rooms. All the rooms are really big. Attention to detail is one thing that this place takes really seriously. And every single room that I've been in has got its own ironing board, iron, and a hairdresser in the drawer. A hairdresser. A hair dryer, sorry. Yeah, we don't have a hairdresser in the drawer. No, well, that'd be useful. You have a gym. I've I had will an age in, and it's been a long day. It but has. it's been a massively fun day. Yeah, it has. Um, everyone has got tea and coffee making facilities. Yep. We've got a fan, as you can see. They're all central heated. The bathroom um, has got a very hot heated towel, heated towel rail, rail to yep. dry the towels. There's towels provided. Everything you want, really, to be Absolutely. honest. Absolutely. I mean, it's comfortable. It's really I comfortable. I think it was, a, we looked on the website, it was a very, very reasonable price. Like we said, we were invited here, so well, we're not actually paying for the accommodation today. No. Um, but we will put details of the website on because obviously this video will go out and it'll be on forever. So yeah. prices will change. No point in us putting prices on the No, video absolutely. Itself. So have a quick look and show us into the other so rooms. This is the bathroom. Yep. Um, I'm not quite sure where the Switch, light is. There we go. You've got the light, have you? Yeah, yep. you've got the light. So a big walk, big walk-in shower yep. and a sink. There's our flannel in the sink, sorry. Yeah, no. sorry. Do you want to go into the shower? It's a big walk-in shower. Yeah, the, the showers are huge because they're wonderful walk-in showers. Do love a walk-in shower. Very nice. Very good. All spotlessly clean. It is. With an inch of its life, I will say. Very good. You've got uh, the walk-in wardrobe. Yeah, a walk-in wardrobe. Very nice. You can say we're only staying for a day, but Absolutely. shame. Absolutely. And then in oh, this... Oh, a separate toilet. Is... Which actually is a really nice feature. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's got a sink in here as well, so, you know. Yep. Yeah. A nice mirror and everything. It's got everything you could possibly want. For a stay, short or long. Stay. So, yeah, people stay here for one or two days. They stay here for a lot longer. Yeah. Why not? I mean, it's a lovely holiday location. Yeah. Uh, Trethorne is situated near Launceston. We haven't said that yet. No, Launceston is the local town. It's literally just off the A30. It's about 200 yards off the A30 junction. And uh, it's actually quite surprising when you pull off and suddenly you, you you're flat out says you're at your destination. Yeah. But it's that really quiet. Yeah. It, yeah very well done on the cover blazing etc yeah um, there's never any problems with noise as far as i can make out no plenty of park in here and being lost then you're just in cornwall yeah so it's the other end of cornwall where we live but if we're coming from other parts of the country it's only just outside devon perfect absolutely perfect lovely location it's a farmland area that is a farmer working farm here as well yeah um, so you get some really nice views as well. We're on a ground floor, obviously, so we get yes, this part. There is a um, a room specially adapted for disabled use, which is even bigger than this, and yeah, it's a big got a huge shower room, yeah, wet room, wet room um, which is beautifully done. And again, it doesn't look. This is going to sound weird, but it doesn't look disabled. Doesn't look clinical. Place. No, it's yeah. not got that upper homely. Yeah, place. It's it's like you would like your home to be. Yeah. Um, we've actually said today, because we've been around the leisure park, the Trithorne Leisure Park, that we've seen some disabled people today. We have. seen people in wheelchairs and power wheelchairs. We've seen a uh, visually impaired young girl. Yeah. Um, and people of all ages, from right from toddlers right up to pensioners today, Absolutely. enjoying themselves in there. Um, and you will see some fantastic sights on it. We will show you that very soon. Yeah, everything is sloped and, and friendly, yeah. you know, if you are a wheelchair user or whatever. Um, to be fair, at this precise moment in time, I cannot fault this place. No. I haven't found one thing 
with the exception of they won't sell me a rabbit. I know. Long story. We'll put that on a video. We'll put that on the Something for the Weekend show, maybe. That's quite an interesting story. But, um, yeah, fantastic place. So we're going to relax for a while. I'm going to have a quick shower. Then Recharge gonna... the batteries, literally. Literally. And yep. then we're going to go and get some dinner. And we'll, we'll show you that, too. Absolutely. So we are back in the room. We are. Back in the room. I know. Uh, how do we get on? We went and had dinner. We had dinner. And an excellent lovely. dinner it was too. Absolutely. Um, we didn't have starters. No. no you, you don't eat an awful lot, to be honest, do you? No. Um, and I didn't get this size by eating starters. Probably not. Okay, so uh, what did you have, darling? I had wild mushroom and asparagus risotto. And very nice it was too, because it had a little taste. Yeah, it came with some garlic bread. Very nice indeed. Uh, I had surf and turf. You did? In their own fashion. Yes. Which was lovely. So it wasn't the scampi kind of thing. It was a 12-ounce rump steak mm -hmm. with king prawns on top and garlic butter. Yes. Uh, with uh, chips mm -hmm. and onion rings and a lovely tomato, which could have exploded very easily when I cut it. it. Normally goes down my front. And uh, a beautifully cooked mushroom, actually. Onion rings. Uh, Ted said the onion rings, I think. And the peas. Oh, and of course there's peas. Of course there's peas. I eat them. Do you always eat your peas on a, on a meal? Um, delicious. Very well done. I'd ask for a rare steak. It came rare. Perfect. Oh, yeah, peppercorn sauce. Oh, and a peppercorn sauce, which I didn't actually need once I realised that the garlic prawns were on top of the mm -hmm. steak. But thank you very much. Uh, excellently done that. Uh, for dessert, did you have anything? Oh, dessert I had... Yeah, Italian, you went for light, supposedly light. Italian issue. black cherry ice cream. Very nice, with a flake, I noticed. It had a flake in it. It also uh, had a whole scoop of clotted cream, cream which this, I yeah, donated to John. Yeah, well, I didn't I did eat all of that, actually. Um, this is Cornwall, so you tend to find most yeah, ice cream comes with a big scoop of clotted yeah, cream with it. But it's just I'm what it really, does. I'm not really up for a, a scoop of clotted cream. No, you, not with ice cream. Kelly's had a very busy day, and obviously um, she has some health issues, we know. So she's been struggling a little bit. Yeah, I'm very now, tired. That's why we're right? back, back to the room early. Um, I had a white chocolate and lemon cheesecake. Very nice it was, too. It looked lovely. But I must admit, I couldn't finish it all. It looked lovely. Yeah, well, portions it, were really it big. It was really good. Yep. Yeah, so uh, we're going to relax. Kelly's going to get some rest. Um, I'm going to go and nip out quick and take a hopeful sunset time lapse okay do my best um and then we're gonna have a little drinky and settle down for the night because tomorrow is another busy day or at least a busy morning it is a busy morning uh, we're going to film the breakfast because obviously everyone needs to know what the breakfast is going to be like when you uh, go on holiday anywhere or go for Absolutely. a break anywhere because if you do book in here you do pay bed and breakfast so yeah you get a bed and breakfast your breakfast is included so yeah so we're definitely going to do that and um, you're going to have a little tidy up, probably go back down to see the animals, maybe. Maybe. And um, or, or just relax for an hour. And I'm going to nip out and play three holes of golf with Steve Treby, who is a member here. Absolutely. Um, just a little taste of, of the golf and try and get myself back on track on a course again. Yep. So we will, we will say goodnight to you all, as you can see, Kelly's tired. I'm sorry. Um, we will say goodnight to you all and we'll see you in the morning. Absolutely. Night, night, everyone. Night, everybody.
Close the train. Close the train. Close the train. say about last night fantastic night yeah we had a fantastic meal beautifully cooked yeah i think we discussed that a little bit earlier before we went to bed slept like a log i will say you yeah. were shattered after yesterday i am still absolutely wiped out i have to say i really am yeah you, you struggle on a normal day to be honest so filming for you for a whole day is something very different and this whole place is something very different. And yeah. I had no idea. We had no idea just how many things you can do here, how many activities, how many attractions are here. And I think that's the thing, because it's just so much fun, you, you don't realise how tired you're getting until no, no. all of a sudden it catches up with you when you sort of stop. Time flew. We have actually filmed 90% of all of this on a phone because carrying that camera around yesterday with the amount of people that were in that yeah. attraction. We never would have managed we it. We never would have managed it. Um, so hopefully everything's come out really well. I'm sure it has. Um, I was sitting there on the computer last night as a YouTuber does, just sorting out all the video. I think it's all gone very well. And I think this whole experience has gone very, very well. Yeah. Exceptionally well. Absolutely. They could not have done any more here to make us feel completely welcome. Yeah. Every member of staff has been as polite as polite could yeah, be. Attentive without being over the top. Exactly. Um, nobody's sort of made faces or complained about filming or, be, no. you know, us being in the way or whatever. And sometimes it takes a while to get bits of film done. Yeah, it does. Properly. Sometimes you have to go over and over a few things. So. Um, my temp in bowling, maybe. That was... <laughs> yeah, that took a few takes. I just Shh. wanted it right, OK? Yeah. Yeah, I, did, I know I didn't get a strike. You would have seen that by now. Um, sometimes I get a bit fussy about how I want to film something, and that's fine. We just try and do it as best we can. Yeah. Um, and I think my attention to detail is why I love this place, because their attention to detail has just been Spot superb. On. Yeah, the room. Perfect. Yeah. Couldn't have been any cleaner if it had just been completely it, decorated. Yeah, yeah, we got a chance to see a, a whole bunch of the rooms, and you will be seeing bits of that on some of the yeah. footage. Every room. Every single it's room. Literally like it had just been done. Yeah, there's not there wasn't a fingerprint in that place. No. The taps were all shiny, the mirrors were all sparkling, the bedding and everything, absolutely immaculate. And like I can say that's not done just because of us. No, because no, we went in not. a lot of rooms. We went in a lot of rooms. It wasn't just our room. We, so, we just asked could we see a selection of different rooms for different ideas of how they're all set up for you. We just want to recommend this place. It's absolutely fantastic for a family they describe it as a family hotel and a family attraction yeah uh, we've just seen the whole coach of kids turn up to do it to do some stuff Looks down like at the they're they've got today. A, there's, a, there's a football thing going on football well, 20 or something i just saw some of the people it's football, here is it yeah and they've, they've got they've got the big five side court inside which i found that's right you do uh, and they've got outdoor events as well we just saw a whole couple of new families just turn up yeah. all want to go and play at the leisure park Today they've got the, sorry, the naughty boys and girls today in, in the, the conference. conference room. Yep, uh, the speeding um, awareness, awareness course. course. Last night that conference room was full of a bowling club, I believe. Yeah. They had a wedding the other day. It's just, but it's not, it doesn't feel like it's a packed, busy place. No. Everyone was, was dealt with in the same courtesy, the same patience. Honestly, they, they couldn't do a thing any more than they already no. did. No, absolutely. I think, like like John said, if if you're coming to Cornwall and you want a well-priced family accommodation 
with on-site facilities for your children to play outdoors or yep. play we're indoors. Next door to the play area. We're next door to the first tee as well. Yeah. Um, so the golf is all there. It's just a little bit in the background. Yeah. So if anybody wants to go and play golf, um, you know, and weather sometimes in Cornwall can be a bit iffy. Yeah. So if you do come and you are here and suddenly we get a really bad day, you could not find a better indoor, indoor attraction, attraction for children of all ages. Yeah, because from obviously tops we, yeah, we, we, we saw the little little stuff. Yeah. We saw the stuff that grown ups were using. Yeah. Uh, just so many things to do, honestly. And the just space is immense. And even all that area, we actually discussed that. We saw the, the general manager yesterday while we were walking around even that big the big family indoor attraction was so clean yeah they had people wandering around all the time collecting stuff picking things up Absolutely. along with the supervisors in all the different areas and they're so um, well they're constantly um investing in this place so yeah. when we spoke to the manager yesterday about the play area specifically i think over the winter there's more development plans there's more development they planned a lot last year they developed a lot already yeah um, they've changed things around and they're constantly changing things and trying to make things better and yeah, I, think I think they're doing a fantastic, that's a fantastic job. job and it's also what that means that you can come back regularly yeah uh, i know steve treby who i'm going to be playing a few holes of golf with in a little while if i can not duff it off that first tee um, his, he said last night that his son, uh, they've got a, a family pass. ticket here, family pass. Yeah. So maybe if you're locals, you can get family passes. But if you're not, it doesn't matter. This location is perfect. Launceston is a is a great place to be because you're just you're just off the moors. Yeah. So you're also near the north coast, yeah. really. So location-wise for trips, etc., is fantastic. You've got the national parks as well. Yeah. It's a great base. Yeah, it's, it's just inside Cornwall, so you've got Devon and Cornwall at your fingertips. Yeah. I'm not sure how you're going to do the cream tea, though, but I'm not discussing that. <laughs> okay. So, thank you very much for watching. Like I said before, we said it already, yes, we were invited to come here. Yes, we were. But we are coming back again. We will definitely come back again. Um, and I will tell you now, I have a funny feeling this could be high on our list for a possible golf day for next year. Yeah, I think so, too. I, I guess can't think of a place that has so many attractions and such helpful staff because yeah. you know there's a lot that goes into organizing a golf day and any little help from the professionals is always really welcome yeah so thank you very much to chris brewer yeah. and all the other members of staff here for allowing us to come and film yeah. and allow us to come and stay and allowing us to come and enjoy the place and thank you very much to all the uh, people that we met both on the course, in the in the hotel, the um, gas, etc. Yeah. For being for their patience today. Any else to say anymore? I don't think so. I think I need to go home and have a very good rest. I think you do. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to go and hit a few balls, hopefully in the right direction. Yeah. That done a little video on Big Oggy Golf. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Do all those things. Come and join Big Oggy Golf, and of course us here at Big Oggy World, and we'll be showing you a lot more of these kind of hotels, accommodations yeah. and attractions on Big Ollie World, along with the foodie things that we do already. Absolutely. Bye everybody. See you all again. See you all again soon. Bye.